right, it's uh, that time of the show. We call it the local Long Beach business scene. And uh, take it away, Mayor Minch. What's up, guys? I got something new for you. And you know what, Howie? Are you Donut? I definitely love the Dough Hut. What a great selection there on the wild west end of Long Beach. Well, guess what? I'm Donuts for the Dough Hut. Really scrumptious place. Oh my God, Howie, let me tell you something. This is good for everybody. I'm gonna tell you about this place. It's called the Doha. It's a local business in Long Beach. They have many flavor donuts. My favorite, oh my God, look at this. I've never done a show that had goosebumps. Cinnamon, cinnamon flavored donut. All right. And guess what? They're not like, they're not factory made like big companies. They're homemade. Okay. They're real. Absolutely. So many great flavors at this place. The vibe. It's located in the West End. The West End is a beautiful place with many local businesses. But this business is taking my stomach into business for, the, for donuts. For more information, you can go to their Facebook at facebook.com forward slash dough hut. Not donut, dough hut. Their address is 891 West Beach Street in Long Beach, New York, 11561. Hours of operation every day. Every day, six to six. If I were you, go there six in the morning if you want a craving for the most delicious donut the United States has ever seen. For their number, it's 516-432-1400. Again, 516-432-1400. Guys, live here, eat here, play here, shop here, Long Beach. Mayor Minch, signing out. Great job, Mayor. Check out the door. Okay, another great show today. We want to thank our special guest, Pam Rosenbluth, and uh, husband, Alan, from Club Pilates in the Oceanside. They talked about all the uh, great uh, programs they offer, fitness and nutrition at Club Pilates, a great place. And they also mentioned that they're going to be part of Fit Fest, run by our good friend, Ingrid Dodd, next weekend at the Hotel Alegria, right here in Long Beach. So check them out at uh, Fit Fest. It's going to be a wonderful event run by our good friend Ingrid Dodd. A lot of great health and fitness instructors are going to be here in Long Beach, so it's a great way to uh, take in some great uh, nutrition and great fitness and meet a lot of great people. And uh, we thank Club Pilates for coming on the show today. And uh, Pam and uh, husband Alan brought a lot of positivity, and uh, um, they do a great job at Club Pilates right down the street on uh, Long Beach Road and Oceanside. Also, our regular segments, Harvey Wiesenberg, uh, the Wiesenberg perspective always uh, moves us with stories about uh, special needs son. And then uh, the birthday boy, Rocco Pasafumi, talked about the movie Hustlers with uh, Jennifer Lopez, a movie uh, Rocco thinks we should check out. And uh, great job by uh, Jennifer Lopez. And then uh, Rocco, uh, good friend Mayor Minch, talked about uh, the dough hot right here in the wild west end of Long Beach and why you should check out the great donuts and why the Doha is a popular spot on the uh, west end of Long Beach. And then Richard Kaplan uh, talked about uh, Alzheimer's and uh, he went to a great event, uh, the Alzheimer's Walk today, he met some great people and, um, and really expanded on uh, what Alzheimer's is all about. And um, I know a lot about it because uh, my mom's dealing with memory issues. so. Uh, definitely uh, touched on some important uh, topics. Um, I also want to mention that um, a Long Island legend passed on this week, Eddie Money. Um, grew up in Plain Edge, had a lot of uh, several great hits from the 70s and 80s. Passed away this week at uh, 70 years of age. So uh, we mourn the loss of a great musician, especially one who grew up right here in uh, Long Island. And I want to close the show. Uh, as you know me, um, you know that I'm a big New England Patriot fan, and um, I've enjoyed uh, their run, their dynasty. With that, they've won six Super Bowl championships, and I admire Tom Brady, 42, still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And we actually talked about that on call, uh, when we talked with uh, Pam and Alan from uh, Club Pilates. So at 42 years old, because of his great uh, training and, and nutrition, he keeps himself in great shape. But you know, Bill Belichick, I respect him as a great coach. Probably the greatest coach in the history of the NFL. He's won six Super Bowls, and the Patriots have been a dynasty for 20 years. 
Um, he's been to nine Super Bowls, won six, so he's a great career. But, you know, today I think was a really, um, I would say, sickening moment. You know, the Patriots, it was late in the game, the Patriots were playing the Miami Dolphins, who, no question, are the worst team in football. And the Patriots were beating the pathetic Dolphins 37 0. And it was late in the game, and Belichick had Brady still in the game, throwing passes with a couple of minutes to go, and they scored a touchdown to make it 43 0, with about a minute or two to go in the game. And, you know, I'm saying to myself, what is he doing? You know, you got the team beat, you're up by 37 points. Why do you got to rub it in their face and why do you got to humiliate it? And to me, which makes it even worse, is that the young head coach of the Miami Dolphins, Brian Flores, was an assistant and ran the Patriots defense last year when they won the Super Bowl, when they beat the, uh, the Rams 13-3. So it wasn't like he was humiliating and throwing in the face of someone he didn't know. It was humiliating a coach that gave him years of dedicated service and several of the coaches from the Miami Dolphins coached on Belichick's staff. So I just thought it was a really, really poor taste. You know, you have a team, especially a bad team like the Dolphins, you're beating them 37 nothing. run the ball into the line, take Brady out of the game. I mean, God forbid, think about this. They're winning the game 37 nothing, and Brady is throwing passes against a team they have beaten soundly 37 nothing. Let's say one of those linemen on the Miami Dolphins who was furious at the Patriots throwing the ball late in the game with a 37-point lead, took a cheap shot at Brady and injured him. What would Belichick have said of having Brady throw passes with a 37-point lead to get his quarterback injured in, in, in a situation he shouldn't have been throwing passes, especially with a 37-point lead? So you know what? I say this. Bill Belichick, you're a great coach. You're a Hall of Fame coach, but you're a classless individual and what you did today was disgraceful, despicable, and beneath what a professional coach should be doing. And uh, you know what? There's an old saying, what goes around comes around and, and someday uh, maybe the Miami Dolphins or, or a team like that will be, won't be so terrible. Maybe they'll get a bunch of great draft picks from being so bad. And uh, maybe they'll have memories of today. But the point is, just very distasteful, uh, Bill Belichick. Very poor sportsmanship and totally uncalled for. So that's my take on it, being objective. They're my team, the Patriots, but I don't have to like everything they do. And I certainly didn't like uh, Bill Belichick today. Totally uh, classless. But with that, I want to wrap with this. My name is Halftime. I want to thank you for your time. Please join us next Sunday on this show of Halftime. But at this time, we are out of time. See you next Sunday.